about the Sun Sea's journey for more than a month now, but in all that time there have been precious few details about the people on board and the circumstances of their voyage. Tonight, though, we can reveal much more thanks to open radio chatter earlier today on the open seas. A news reporter, Shachi Kuril, caught up with the skipper of a fishing vessel that was very close to the Sun Sea today, and she has more on the story. Shachi. Well, Hudson, that's right. And frankly, up to this point, the media has really had to rely on a lot of unconfirmed reports, frankly, at times speculation onto conditions on board the MV Sunsea. Tonight, we have a much clearer picture of what's going on, better detail that is being provided by the people on that vessel themselves. After 40 days on the Pacific, the MV Sunsea ends her journey sailing straight into a busy marine channel. Notwithstanding the RCMP vessels that headed out to her this morning, she has spent this day surrounded by shipping vessels, pleasure craft, even cruise ships. And as they kept marine radio channels open, the secrets of the mystery migrant ship are being revealed. We listened to the whole exchange between them and the Navy ship earlier. I actually heard a whole bunch. Oh, um, that from the skipper on board the Excellence, a fishing vessel sailing three miles from the Sun Sea, also known as the Heron Panich. He says the conversation started around 10 a.m. and that those on board the Sun Sea told Canadian authorities this. Uh, about 490 of them was the last word I heard and then half a dozen ships through which contains uh, no officers. It was apparently deckhands with good English who did the talking and, crucially, the navigating. Yeah, it sounded like the boat was stuck in Thailand and that the crew just took off. So who exactly is on board this migrant vessel? What, what uh, else? What women, else? children, older, younger people. Got a couple nurses on board that have been looking at, after the crew and, I mean, some Ill, Ill crew members. Until now, reports of the migrants' condition were grim. One person on board dead, a possible outbreak of tuberculosis. But the skipper says, from the sound of things, it didn't seem so bad. There was some, some illness, but um, it sounded like seasickness to me. Or it could be you know, from malnutrition, but some people had been, been throwing up, I believe. I don't remember them saying if they'd lost anybody, um, but there were no dead on board. There's no doubt those on board are hoping to stay in Canada. They said they're all Sri Lankan refugees seeking asylum. 40-day trip, sick, tired. They're all very happy to see the Canadian Navy there and, and um, happy to be uh, close to the end of their journey. Whether the Canadian government or her people will be as happy to welcome them is another story. Now, Hudson, as you heard in our report, there do appear to be children on board the MV Sunsea. What we can tell you tonight is that we expect those kids will be taken once they've been checked over medically like the rest of the uh, migrants on board. will be kept with their, with their parents, with their mothers as much as possible, and will be taken to a secure facility. Now, that doesn't mean a jail cell, but we expect they will be in some sort of secure facility where they can uh, be with their adult guardi guardians, with their mothers, but they can't necessarily walk away. Way. An example of that type of facility might include a youth detention center. Of course, we'll know much more once the vessel arrives and we start to see what happens. Hudson. All right, we will wait and see. Shachi, thank you. You're welcome.